ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Hi everyone. Today um, we're doing an insignia bonding and I thought it'd be nice to show you. This is Dave and uh, Dave's already got his upper arch bonded and now we're doing the lower. As you know, insignia is this um, indirect bonding, customized brackets, customized wires. We've got this insignia sort of tray and we've put some, the, the key is Whenever you're doing customized bonding or indirect bonding, you actually want to just um, use a thinner, lighter viscosity composite, okay? Don't use a thicker one. Make sure it's spread all around the bracket base. You've got the transfer tray. And you basically want to, just open for me a bit. Now this is beautiful actually, what comes from Insignia. And you literally just position it like that, thumb pressure, it literally doesn't rock. So you can see it's perfect and we're going to cure it. Okay, so each bracket about 10 to 20 seconds of cure. And while you've got firm pressure, and we're going to show you, we're going to do the next slot in a sec. So I'm going to hold this while um, we have lovely Hazel here who is going to bond, load up the next six teeth. So this is fantastic stuff. This is how quick indirect bonding can be. Okay, so we're just trying to cure as best as we can, like a flash cure. Um, and eventually we'll remove this tray and do a tiny bit more cure after. Make sure you get around each bracket very well. Don't just do a few seconds. So I'm fairly confident we've got some bonding here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to bond. So Insignia tells you how the brackets are going to be. So we've got group jigging 654, 3 to 3, then um, 654. So we've just bonded 654. Now we're going to do 3 to 3, okay? So we've got the surface edged and... We're just going to dry, it's all nicely etched. We're going to add some bond here. So I like to just make sure it's a bit thin. You want to add the bond to the surface where the bracket will be going to. So we've got all six teeth here. It's a primer actually. And you've got all six brackets here together you can see it's not can you zoom in you can see there's not a lot of composite just enough to coat the brackets okay so we're going to place it all together again it's just beautiful stuff doesn't once you place it doesn't rock well once you place it wait got it okay so once you get it right down there okay it's some pressure and then we'll be curing it so, yeah. so thank you guys I just wanted to show you this quick segment um, and how to remove it actually is important once you've bonded all the brackets you want to spray some water the seal that connects the bracket actually um, to the transfer tray is water soluble. So you can actually just spray some water and it can rock it and the whole jig comes off. Okay, so uh, we might go live later as we're removing these jigs. So thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Hi guys, so now we're going to do part two. Um, and Dave's got these. Uh, bonded trays so we bonded 654 3 to 3 then 654 and these transfer trays are still there I love these ones so what we're going to do to facilitate removal right you want to squirt some water first once you've cured just really squirt some water because it breaks the seal and it's easy to remove the transfer tray afterwards so we're going to remove the tray now, so it's gentle uh, rocking motion and you basically just want to go very gentle with a wine guard or just a plier, it literally comes off like that, okay? Now with Insignia you get individual jigs um, if brackets do come off, 
So it's quite nice and neat. You can see there's no flash here. You can see we put very little thin resin. So beautiful bonding. Okay, thank you. See you again. Merry Christmas.